This is June 29th, 2018, and we are conducting interviews of external organizations who are requesting funding from the City of Watertown. So if you'll go ahead and introduce yourselves and tell us about your program. Uh, my name is Kimberly McCoy from Inner Lakes Community Action. I'm the fiscal director. Arlene Weirheim. I'm the deputy director at Inner Lakes Community Action. Okay. Um, we are requesting funding from the city of Watertown in the amount of $10,680. Um, this will help support the rent of our facilities up here in Watertown. Um, we are located at, our Head Start Center is located at 710 10th Street Southwest, and our offices are located at 78th Avenue Southeast. Uh, Interlakes Community Action is located in 14 counties. Uh, we provide a variety of services to low-income and elderly people. In the city of Watertown, we offer a variety of programs, um, including Head Start, Early Head Start, Weatherization, 60s Plus Dining, Home Rehab, Mutual Self-Help, Housing Counseling, and a variety of community services. The program that we're off, um, requesting support for is our Head Start Center. Um, at our Head Start Center, we um, provide child care services for children between the ages of three to five. We currently serve 70 children. There are two half-day sessions, which meet three and a half hours per day, four days a week, and two extended day sessions, which meet seven hours per day for four days per week. Um, there are 11 children on the wait list. We also have early Head Start services, um, which help out children that are between zero and three and pregnant women. We currently have 24 children that receive home-based services in the city of Watertown, and they meet with their home visitor for an hour and a half per week to gain socialization skills and attend a play and learn session twice a month. There are currently nine children on the wait list. Um, The, I can provide more information, if so required, on the other services that we provide. Um, I have given you an annual report. We also have our annual audit. Yeah, we'll put those on the website so that people can look at them. I've got those brochures here. And if anyone wants to see them, they can come pick them up in the mayor's office. Um, otherwise, we'll put it on the website in electronic format. I do have a couple of questions I'd okay. like to ask you. First of all, how do you measure the success of your program? Uh, the success of our program is measured by the longevity and quality of our staff, the contributions of volunteers, and the support of the community. Each child and his or her family receive array of services including physical, cognitive, emotional, and social development, health, and nutrition services in our Head Start and Early Head Start program. The program promotes school readiness for families and children and provide a path for successful transition to kindergarten. Child outcomes are measured through classroom observations and they're measured three times a year for Head Start and four times per year for the early Head Start children. Um, the participants are at 100% of poverty and a family of four would make approximately $25,100. Okay, so um, in the school district, do you get feedback about children who have gone through this program versus children who don't and see a difference? Yes, I believe they um, have shown that they are much more ready and much more prepared for um, the education and received in kindergarten than those that do not attend a preschool or a Head Start program. Mm -hmm. And it just brings those children that are low income, give them the same opportunities as the other children from a higher income level family that can afford to pay for uh, preschool services. Okay, what's your greatest challenge? Our greatest challenge is to find a building that um, served our low-income children. We are currently renting the building at the 710 10th Street, and um, we had to rehab and do some things to the building, 
And then after we moved in, we realized that we needed to have a fire safety system installed. And so that included alarm, um, egress windows, having the egress, have the lighting, um, have the emergency um, locks, hardware on the doors, and that was quite costly. So our landlord has raised our rent $380 a month to help pay for that. It cost about 14000 to upgrade the, the building. Mm -hmm. So to help recoup that, our rent had to increase to $3,404 a month. And so that is our biggest challenge. Uh, we looked at other buildings to purchase or to rent, and we just didn't find anything else. How has the new building worked out? Fairly good. We just have these little bumps in the road with, right. you know, this is what we've, we think we're good now. Mm -hmm. So we had when to do some air quality tests, and, and that those improvements have also been done. So When did you move in? About a year ago, 1st so of July. So full year, okay. Yeah, 1st of July, yep. almost there. And it's yeah. a five-year lease. Is it better than the previous place? That you were at? No, we had a the school. We were in Garfield School last. Oh, that was very nice, but so we had to leave. You had to leave, right? Yes, okay. we had to leave. Yeah, yeah, that's too bad. Yeah, yeah. All right. And uh, what's your vision for the future of the program? Um, the goal is to have all of our Head Start classrooms be extended today. So, as I had mentioned earlier, they currently the two half day programs meet for three and a half hours per week or per day for four days a week and the extended day meets for seven hours. So our goal would be to get all of those classrooms up to the seven hours per day for four days a week. Um, and as you know, the federal dollars, there's always restraints and certain rules that come along with that. So 80% of our budget comes from federal funding and then we are required to get 20% match, which the money that we receive from the city of Watertown helps us meet those match percentages and we need that, um, which is required to pull down the federal dollars. What is your match? Is it exactly 20 or is it a little higher? Well, it can also be not only cash match, but it can also be in-kind. So we utilize a lot of um, our parents that teach children. They'll go home with certain goals. They need to work with their child throughout the week. And so then they write down those hours, and then they um, fall within um, how ICAP's pay scale works and their benefits. Also, any community volunteers mm -hmm. can be utilized. Um, so, like, for example, if the fire chief came and told the children about fire safety, his time could be in-kinded at a reasonable rate um, within the community. Um, so it can be both in-kind and cash. Do you have a lot of volunteers from the community? We do have a lot of volunteers you know that many? Um, help off Approximately. the top of my head. I do I not know. Just but we every day that. different ones come yep. in. And, and every year is different from one year to the next. Sure. We have throughout our whole agency, we have over 900 volunteers that help us with our programs through either, you know, volunteer services or in kind or whatever it might be. Mm -hmm. And the, the match that comes from local cash, part of it's the city. Who else gives monetary funding? Uh, we get money from other United Ways. How, okay, other United, United Ways. Up here in um, Watertown, we have the Watertown Community Foundation okay. and what the United Way. Okay. And we get, you know, um, sometimes there will be a donation from a private individual or a business or every year is different. Mm -hmm. Do you ever do fundraisers? Oh, that's an interesting topic because <laughs> um, even though the new uniform guidance that has come down has said that fundraising, you know, that they support that, we have asked Head Start um, in our region about fundraising and they do not support it and they said that anything, utilize, you know, they won't have federal dollars being utilized for um, fundraising activities. Mm -hmm. They do not support it. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> kind of ties your hands a little bit. That's kind of how that goes. <laughs> right. Well, if you want to leave one thought in people's mind, what would that be about your program? 
I think one of the most important things is that we would like to have a permanent location to serve those, I believe, 94 children up in this community so that they can all have the same services as people with higher incomes have. Mm -hmm. so I that, agree. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate your taking the time to come up here and talk to us. Well, we appreciate your support mm -hmm. um, in the past and into the future. All right. Thank, thank you. you. Yep.